So hello, I uh, didn't prepare anything for that uh, presentation, so I'll do this out of the cuffs. And uh, first I want to mention the NetBSD project has a booth down in the Hack Center, so if you're interested in getting in contact with us, come down, drop by and ask us, and you can get uh, CDs, DVDs, and other things there. And I hope we can also answer all your questions. So now I want to introduce um, NetBSD to you. Um, NetBSD 2.0 was uh, released three weeks ago. And NetBSD is an operating system. It is uh, derived from old uh, Berkeley uh, software distribution code. It is therefore uh, something, um, it is a real true Unix. And it offers support for 55 different hardware platforms um, with uh, at all 17 CPU architectures, different CPU architectures that are supported. Um, it offers uh, a lot of portability, and therefore you can cross-compile the kernel and user land by the standard tool chain of the NetBSD architecture. And so you can, for example, use it for development on um, small devices like PDAs or um, handheld PCs or older um, computers uh, which can be uh, compiled on a newer and more faster or more uh, powerful machine. Uh, the, the complete source, um, the history of the, the source and all, um, all other stuff is available via anonymous CVS uh, and other methods like CVS Web or Async. So you have um, access to all the whole uh, source code that has been published by the project, even that that has been published back in 1994. Um, NetBSD offers um, also binary compatibility for most um, Linux, Solaris, Go. FreeBSD, OpenBSD, and other Unix programs, so it is possible to run um, Linux programs on NetBSD. For example, one can use Opera or Acrobat PDF Reader uh, on NetBSD running the Linux binaries, and um, the emulation layer of NetBSD will make it possible to use it programs. Uh, NetBSD also supports a lot of network technologies. Uh, BSD in general is famous for its network su um, support and its network um, abilities. So um, if you're interested in building um, an infrastructure for network, you can also use NetBSD, of course. Um, yeah, NetBSD, is, um, NetBSD also has um, an, uh, a framework for your installing third-party packages. It is called Package Source. Package Source itself is also portable. You can use Package Source, for example, on Solaris, Linux, um, the other BSDs, and other Unix um, machines like... Um, uh, I oh, forget it, other Unix machines. <laughs> um, package source is um, a framework. You have um, a collection of make files there for each um, uh, third party package, and all you have to do is to check out these uh, package source via CVS or FTP, copy it to your hard drive, and then you can uh, simply enter the directory of a project. For example, if you want to install K uh, KDE or Genome, you just have to go to the KDE uh, directory, and you have to uh, enter make install, make clean, and all dependencies. Uh, are built, all sources, sources are fetched which, uh, which are needed, and the, the whole project is built um, at once by the, by the package source framework, and you don't have to interact with the system until your KDE is up and running. Um, there are a lot of um, third-party packages available. Currently, I guess there are over 5,500 5, uh, packages uh, brought to package source, and there are, of course, a lot of other uh, software that isn't available via package source is also uh, compilable on NetBSD if the source code is clean enough to be compiled on NetBSD. So um, that's currently all I want to, wanted to um, tell you to NetBSD. Uh, so if you have further questions or are interested in installing it or any other um, interesting or are interested in further talks, you can drop by at the Hack Center booth, uh, NetBSD booth, and ask us or talk to us and do whatever you want. That's all. Thanks. <laughs>